Are you looking for some amazing Northern Iceland experiences? Well, we just got back from a cruise to Northern Iceland, and today we want to share with you some of the most amazing places that we got to see, and something that could happen on a trip. Well, something you wouldn't want to happen, uh, but it did, and how it got resolved. Absolutely. Okay, so we used Get Your Guide to book experiences on our trip to Northern Iceland, and most importantly, they have a cancellation policy that'll give you peace of mind, which you'll want to hear about. Stay tuned. And we're going to talk about that later. Uh, we're also going to provide you a QR code for each experience that you can scan using your phone. And of course, if you happen to be watching this video on your computer, we'll leave a link in the description for you for more information about the experience if you're interested. Now, in case you're wondering, Get Your Guide sponsored this video and paid for most of these experiences. So a big shout out to them, big thank you, thank you. for supporting our channel. Okay. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Rick. And I'm Andrea. And today we'll show you four great experiences that we had in our Northern Iceland cruise. But first, if you like travel related videos like this one, now it's a great time to the subscribe button down below so you'll never miss any future videos. Well, I think that is absolutely great advice. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. So let's begin with our first experience from the port of Seydisfjordur. I'm Where? sorry, people in Iceland, <laughs> my pronunciation is not the greatest. I'm sure they won't mind. The port of Seydisfjordur is located on the east coast of Iceland, and it's a cute little town mm -hmm. at the end of a very long fjord. Near the port, you can admire some wonderful waterfalls and dramatic mountains. Our experience from this port was a geothermal bath called the Vok Bath. I think that was pretty, pretty nice. nice. Yeah. yeah. We booked this experience using the Get Your Guide app in a few minutes. It's so easy to do, so right? Easy. And you cannot go to Iceland and not experience a thermal bath mm -hmm. because it's something mm -hmm. that you must do. The baths are located about 32 kilometers from the port and they are easily reached with a half hour bus ride. Mm -hmm. The bus ride is quite scenic and along the way you saw a ton of waterfalls and beautiful, beautiful landscape. The Vok baths are on the shore of a lake and they use hot water from the geothermal spring located at the bottom of the lake to warm up the pools. So the water is heated naturally and there are no chemicals whatsoever in the water. There are three pools at different temperature. The one close to the entrance is the coldest at 37 degrees Celsius. Not exactly cold that I would say, right? The coldest. Yeah. While the furthest one in, is the hottest one at 41 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. There is also a great stream of bar for fancy drinks. Yes, actually there was a lot of folks having a glass of wine, a uh, spritz, spritz, a beer. Yeah. yeah. The facility also offers changing room with showers and a nice steam room after soaking in the hot water. You might want to take a dip in the cold water of the lake, but... Uh, Rick? Yeah, I dare you to stay for more than about one second, <laughs> because after you get in, you'll just want to run right back. That water was cold. Well, after enjoying our time in the hot bath, we were able to have a complimentary local herbal tea made mm. using the same hot water that they used to warm up the pools. So mm. it was pretty cool. I think that was pretty warm, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> duh. <laughs> okay, so our second stop on our northern Iceland cruise was the port of Akriari. There we decided to go and see the Godafoss, or the Waterfall of the Gods. Beautiful. The falls are about a 45-minute bus ride from the port of Aquieri, and uh, the drive again here is scenic and just beautiful. Once we arrived at the falls, uh, we had about an hour to explore this magnificent site. Uh, luckily, by the time we arrived at the falls, the weather turned sunny, mm -hmm. and we were able to explore the falls in all its glory. Uh, there, we were able to go to the bottom and take some photos and find this. And of course, there's also that bridge that we also got to hang out with. Yeah. There's also a little shop that you can buy some snacks, some local stuff, and, and of course, use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> 
Next, we sailed to the port of Isafjordur, on the northwest side of Iceland. To the bad weather, our crews had to visit this port twice. Because of that, we booked two experiences here in Isafjordur. Which is really quite amazing, because it's so, such a small place. <laughs> on our first stop, we decided to take a look at the Bolafjol view platform. Mm -hmm. This was a neat and very unusual experience. After a short 40 minutes bus ride, we arrived at the top of a very high mountain where the view platform is located. Yeah, by the way, this was really high. Very high. Unfortunately, the weather was not the greatest. It was incredibly windy and cloudy, so the view from there was not the best. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was really windy, uh -huh. and um, I thought my phone <laughs> was going to fly out of my hand yeah. when, we were at, when we were at the top. Of, yeah, you know. taking footage was quite challenging. Yeah. So this experience was cut off a little short, and our guide offered us to take us back to Worth Isafjordur and show us some other different sites in the area. This was incredibly nice of him to be able to adapt and customize the excursion due to the small size of the group. Maybe it wasn't his first rodeo. I think so. First, he took us to the to site of a lighthouse that was a bit not, very, some very nice view of the area and the surrounding mountain. After that, he took us to the Bonafoss waterfall just outside the Isafjordur. We really appreciate the fact that our guide was able to show us other sites, and this is only possible if you take an experience with a small group, because mm -hmm. the group is very big, they yeah. cannot adapt, yeah. they yeah. have to do with a program. So on our second stop at Isafjordur, uh, we booked the hop-on, hop-off bus, as we do in many cities, right? Now, this bus is the perfect way to explore all the main attractions in the port, right? And uh, booking, in this case, on Get Your Guide in advance was the key to, in <laughs> to skipping this long line at the counter. All we had to do was go right to the front of the line um, to show our pass, and then they gave us a wristband allowing us to travel on the bus all day. Now, the bus leaves right in front of the cruise port and or the pier, and the round trip happens in about 45 minutes. The bus will take you to a couple of stops, a few hundred meters from each other, which is a little strange, in the city center, be go before going to the avalanche point, um, and then to the troll seat. And the locals say that a troll used to sit here and wash its hands, uh, no, its feet, feet, in the ocean below. And if you want to walk up, it takes about 35 minutes and you'll, yep. you'll get a little appetite. Probably. Now, after Isa Fjordur, um, our cruise was set to sail to Greenland for a few days before going to Reykjavik in Iceland, of course. In the city of Reykjavik, um, we had a food tour of six tastings booked, but unfortunately, due to a family emergency, we had to cut our cruise short fly and fly home. home. Now, because we booked our experience with Get Your Guide, we were able to cancel our tour in Reykjavik quickly and with no penalties. Mm -hmm. I did this right from just the app in our, few, in our phone in a few seconds. Mm -hmm. And that's much different from what our cruise line offered. On our cruise line, as soon as you're on board, we could not cancel no. excursion anymore. It's not like that on all cruises, but on this one, this particular one, that was the case. So we are happy to get the refund and thank you, get your guide. Yeah, absolutely. So maybe now it's time to draw some conclusions. Yes. I would say that we had a wonderful time in Northern Iceland uh, and got to visit some incredible places and saw some stunning landscapes absolutely. that you should also visit in Northern Iceland. But our trip was cut short and get your guide made it super easy uh, for us to both book the experiences in every port and of course cancel that food tasting tour in Reykjavik uh, and get a refund. So I would say that was very classy. Well, this is all we have for you today. We hope you enjoyed our video and as usual, if you have any question, feel free to leave a comment below. We love to hear back from you and answer your question the best we can. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we will see you in our next video. Ciao! Ciao.